top half of the third inning. Now it's going to be John Slugger. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has... Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A gigantic blast. It's 1-0. So the streak stays alive. His fourth straight game with a home run. Boog, that's like a cycle of home runs, and I know how much you love the cycle. He's at back here in Atlanta, leading off John Slugger. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back. Out of here. He's putting on quite the show at the deep. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Tying run at the plate. This to third. Over to Altuve. Back to first, and that is a double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Here's a big power threat. John Slugger and a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homered three times so far, and now he gets another chance, at least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit. It's so rare to see a three-homer performance, but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Well, he does a nice job of coming in and getting the save. He made a mistake with the pitch, gave up the solo home run, but he maintained his focus to push Our through to the finish line. Tonight. First for the victorious American League All-Stars. Eight runs on 12 hits. Two errors, they left 10 runners on base. Here's for the home team, seven runs on 12 hits. No errors, they left 10 runners on base. Time for the ball game. Four hours and 16 minutes. Tonight's paid attention. Matt Kuhn.
Warning track, wall, and you can touch them all, baseball man. A gigantic blast. Another one in his incredible season. And they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt. George Valera digs in for the Guardians. And he lays down a bunt. Bare hand scoop. Fires to first. Nicely done for the out. New inning getting started. Now it's the power speed combo. John Slugger. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A massive home run. His second home run of the game, it's 3-1. He only needed one swing. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. That was blasted to the moon. Big stock center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. Runner, runner on the go. Oh, Good oh, plate oh, appearance oh. there. Able to take the walk. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed no, and no, walked no, the no, hitter. No, no, no. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. Two on, one out. Swings and misses, struck him out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Runners on the move. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning and stops. The One out, base is empty. So in now for Cleveland, Ramon Laureano. Rip towards third. Throw on to Torkelson, and Laureano is retired. John Slugger up now for the Tigers. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival to take your game to another level. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach. Now this one's well hit. Way back there. On its way and out of here. Grand slam. A towering shot. His fourth home run of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 11-4. Out of line, out towards center. He makes the grab. And there are two down. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch. Well, Boog, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. Here now with our final line for tonight. So up next, John Slugger. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast. His 90th home run of the season. It's 1-0. Chris, he's homered in back. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10-inning walk-off win. Pretty amazing streak and a big part of the history of this yard. That's a laser base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Here's Riley Green. Boog, and I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their staff and players, and they didn't feel like they had really... Rokio fires a second, and that's two. 
Well, that's what you hope for if you're out there on the mound. First and second, nobody. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 5-4. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. He powers that one out of here. In the air right field, pretty well struck. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So two down, and next up for the Tigers, John Slugger. Let's see what the former World Series MVP can do with this at bat, Chris. Splits the plate. It's 0-1. Looks like he's sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Now I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Ground ball left side. Tosses to first. That's out number three. That one ripped right center field. Valera ranging back and off the base of the wall. Around third, the relay throw. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Textbook defensive execution right there. Outfielder hits the cutoff man. Relay throw to the plate. A perfect strike and a great way to end the inning. This one in the air center field. Valera settles underneath it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. One down. Here's Jose Ramirez. The pitch. On the ground to third. Oh, great stop. To his knee, the throw, there's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop, then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. Go ahead, run on base. Here's the third baseman, John Slugger. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Turned on, but foul wide of third. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The other way. Well, there's one away. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time I'll play. One down, runner at first. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Kicks and fires. On the ground, the third might be two. Off balance speed, there's one. And that's two. Now the third baseman, John Slugger. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Give me one time. 
Ripped on a line. And that one hops the wall. One runs in. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Two on, one out. Now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Riley Green. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Wouldn't chase that time. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. That one misses. And now three balls and a strike. Kicks and deals. And he walked him. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this ball game, trying to keep things close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things aren't getting any easier. Righty delivers. Out to center. Valera moving under it. He's got it. Both runners tagging. Tag. Not in time. He's safe. And they take a two-run lead. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Now Miguel Vargas Miguel up now for the Tigers. Vargas. Two on, two outs. On the ground to third. A sliding stop. The throw. It's there, and that's a great play. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the
gonna And welcome back to the ballpark. Stepping in the long ball threat, John Slugger. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first and hustling for second. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. And next up for the Tigers, Spencer Torkelson. Runner at second, nobody out. Singer throws over. Slugger dives back in safely. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second. Runner breaks for third. Swing and a miss. Tag save. The throw from Perez too late. Runner at third with one gone. Now here is Daniel Cabrera. The Tigers down by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. And he walked it. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. That's the third. Sosa. One at second. Got him. The double play cuts down the potential to. And now it's Salvador Perez to the play. Bounce to the left side. Whips it across, and they get Perez for the out. Bottom four. Now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, John Slugger. On a line, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Rudder takes off, and he grounds one to the right side. Prado takes it himself. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your team. And they put the tag on him for the out. One down. Pete Crow Armstrong steps in for the Royals. On the ground to third. Throw to first is in time. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping. And that one hammered. That's back. Out of here. His 100th home John Slugger getting ready to hit. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Let's go. This one is blasted. A no-doubter. Grand slam. He powers that one out of here. He closes out his 50th career save, so that one has a little extra meaning to it. You don't collect this many saves by accident. Another job well done. Yeah. 
now is our final line for tonight. First one to Victoria Tiger. Finley, 12 hair. Intentional pass coming. Base is now loaded, though it does set up a force at every base. So up next, Spencer Torkelson. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game. Came back. Line drive, base hit. One runs in, the throw in, and he's out. Now it's the second baseman, Miguel Vargas. The one two. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Tattooed and gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they add on. It's five zip. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Slugger in his third season, batting in the cleanup spot, and he's a former rookie of the year. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. Came out of his shoes on that one. Back here in Detroit, all set for the start of the inning. And now it's Kyle Isbell. On the ground to third. Throw on to Torkelson. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. One out, base is empty. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. On the ground, Slugger. Slings to first, and Witt is out. Back at Comerica Park, bottom of the inning. Here's the third baseman, John Slugger. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. A gigantic blast. He's done it again. His second homer of the game, and they end. Ground ball base now. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. And they're all loaded up. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just that fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. Base is full, two gone. Here's the second baseman, Miguel Vargas. The pitch. Out towards right center field, sizing this one up. Squeezes it. That is the inning. Man at first. And up next for Detroit, John Slugger. Three for three with a pair of home runs and a single. That one ripped. And it's off the foul pole for a home run. A massive home run. That's his third home run of the game. And they add a couple more. It's 11-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. Slugger was outstanding in this ball game, helping them get the win. Blasted off for three homers in the game. Though well, they may want to change how they approach him next time because he was just a... John Slugger now at the plate. Reagan's back to work. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. The pitcher knew as soon as... 
And we're back. Here's a big power threat. John Slugger. And a pitch. That one ripped right center field. That's back. And that one is gone. That's an impressive swing of the bat. Out off left side. Slugger measures six feet two inches. Just 19 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. On the ground to the left. And foul.
Man at first, John Slugger, the next to hit. Right now, the leading RBI man in the American League. He's been huge this season. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. Tattooed and gone. A gigantic blast. His latest homer in an incredible season. And they jump. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom half of inning number two. Here's Nicholas Castellanos on the ground. Throw on to Torkelson and quickly one away in the second. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Got all of that one. So there's number 400. What a moment as one of the game's best circles the bases one more time in his great career. A very special swing of the bat. Yeah, Boog, and to me, this is one of those career-defining moments. When a guy makes his way into the 400 home run club, he's going to start being mentioned amongst the greatest power hitters to ever play this ball game. It's a rarefied air up there, and it's been really incredible to watch him perform throughout his career. Back at Citizens Bank Park, down the third baseman, John Slugger, and a pitch. And that one hammered Rojas going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Here's some real power at the plate. John Slugger. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dish. Hit hard on the ground is short. To first. Oh. And there's two away. Up next to the Tigers, the first baseman, Spencer. One run game here today, your final score, seven to six. The Phillies hang on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shami. We'll see you soon. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Philadelphia Bulls, seven runs on ten hits. And up next for Detroit, John Slugger. Singing when the year's John. over, he'll have a new career high for RBIs in a season. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run. That's his third home run of the series. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Man on second, two down. On the ground to the left. Throw on to Torkelson, and that'll keep more runs from Cup. Up next to the Tigers. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a bit. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He's so good at getting. that one deep left field and forget it and he's gone yard again stepping in the long ball threat John Slugger and a chance to make some history here Chris 
Yeah he's homered three times so far and now he gets another chance at least we think we'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit it's so rare to see a three homer performance but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four. Warning track wall and you can touch them all baseball man. But when you're on a seven game losing streak you've been both bad and unlucky this win will be their reset button I think now all of a sudden the ball will start to bounce their way and before you know it they'll be getting those breaks and the other team will go home frustrated and now here now is our final line for tonight so digging in John Slugger Oh, he gloves it from his backside. And very nicely done for the out. Line drive. Oh, just shy of the wall. Both runners tagging. He'll score on the sack fly. We're tied at one. And first offering is fouled off. Puga never got to play at Citizens Bank Park in my career. Just the old veteran stadium in Philadelphia. But the crowds here are just as energetic now as they were at that old park. And trust me, as an outfielder visiting town, you're going to hear it from the fans out there in the bleachers. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. Runner takes off. Hit hard. That gets through. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. So one out with two aboard. The batter now, Javier Baez. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Boom. To second, that's one. And that's quick work out of the pen. One back. New inning getting started. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, John Slugger. Kikuchi back to work. Liner, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. And next to hit for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. Now they've got him in a rundown. And they tag him out. Man, that's tough. Right? Two outs, runner at first. And here is Alec Bohm. 2-2 two -two now. On the ground to third, Slugger. That's out number three. One down, and next will be the cleanup hitter, John Slugger. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. That's his seventh home run of the series, and they tack on to their lead. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home.
Ladies and gentlemen, this time around, the revolution. Come get some.
Holy cow.